M0FXB. Welcome to my videos on the Zygu X6100. If you find these useful, please like and subscribe to my channel. 73, all the best. M0FXB, quick one on the filters on the X6100. So we've got my antenna out connected at the moment. I'll still show you them anyway. So there's two buttons. One is uh, for noise reduction and for noise blanking. So we'll hit DFN. You've got noise reduction there it's off so the not when it's highlighted green you can turn it on and off that does go to on and off there then you when it's on i mean you can do it when it's off you can adjust the depth there same goes for the noise blanker you can hit that the mfk button on and off and again you can adjust the width like so and the noise blanker level that's that and then if we hit dfl the filters show up now you've got filters one two and three and i have tested these and they work well you can hit default on each one the other thing you can do is with the mfk knob you can turn it and it well push it first and look number two shows and you can go right and left Just to note there, you have to be an SSB to do to go right and left. So look, number two is red, and then number one is blue, and you've got the adjustment shown here. Let's do filters two, like so, push it again. And I've tested it, it actually works quite well. But I found that with the other one, the noise, the noise reduction worked well, I found. So let's just hit that, the noise reduction here. But I found the noise blanker didn't make much difference, but maybe I need to do a bit more testing on that. So I hope this helps you with the filters. Uh, I'm sure there's more things you could change. If you go, uh, let's have a go. General menu is this one here. You've got display settings. Now, not really sure how that would help you. You'll need to learn what every one of these actually do. The manual doesn't actually tell you. Um, so we're going to have to learn that one. Let's go back out. This, this is the back button here. And then you've got radio settings to receive increment tuning, transmit increment tuning, split frequency, and then IQ out, which is a feed for an SDR receiver, which we will we'll try. And eventually I'm going to try uh, all the digi modes as well. I've noticed that when you change mode up here, You've got LSB, Digi, USB, USB, Digi. So we're definitely going to be doing some Digi modes, and this has the modem built into it. So 7.3, thanks for watching.